Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how you can run Jenkins as well as Bitbucket containers using Docker Desktop. My assumption is that you have installed Docker Desktop to run as Linux containers. Using this, we will run our Jenkins and Bitbucket containers. Okay, we'll start with Jenkins container. For that, you can go to this link, Jenkins.io. And here, when you scroll down, you will see a section for on Windows. The condition for this to work is having a Docker for Windows installation, which is configured to run Linux containers that is what I just showed you and then you can follow these steps I actually started with the step number four where I created my own customized docker file because I have installed git version also on the Jenkins container let me show you my customized docker file here it is it uses the Jenkins official image and this step is exactly same as what mentioned in the document there I am just installing extra dotnet SDK dotnet 5.0 and then the git version tool onto this container and then adding it to the path after saving this docker file now we'll build the image out of it so we'll go to our console and we'll run this command to build the image so now our image is ready and now we'll run docker command to start it as container so let's see the command so docker run command we'll give some name to it and these are the volumes mapped internally to slash where slash jenkins home and then search publish will be at 8080 port internally container will run at 8080 and this is the jenkins image the version 1.0 which we just now created so let's run this So our Jenkins container is started now. Let's try to access it. If you go to the same Jenkins.io site again and scroll down further, you will see post installation setup wizard where it will say how you can access it because our Jenkins container is running at 8080. So we can run, you can access it using this URL. So now here it's waiting for a password which you will find in this particular path in this file so let's find out this password and then we will paste it to continue and unlock jenkins so we'll go back to the console here and we'll see all the containers running and you can see here jenkins 1.0 is the one which is running so we'll see docker logs for this container and you see Jenkins initial setup is required and this is the password this may also be found in this path but this is the password string which it is looking for so we'll copy this go back here paste this and continue now here we'll just go with the install state plugins and it will take some time I'll pause the video and we'll come back once it is done. Plugin installation is complete now and it took me to this screen where it's asking to create the first admin user. I have filled the details here uh, with the username and email address, password, save and continue. Instance configuration, so we'll keep it as is. Save and finish. And now Jenkins is ready so we can start using Jenkins. So here we are, Jenkins is running as container in Docker desktop. Now we'll go and do the same for Bitbucket containers. And when Bitbucket is running, then we'll see how we can configure to connect Bitbucket with Jenkins. For Bitbucket container, uh, we'll just run a Docker command, which will be something like this. Docker run will map a volume to store the data and the name for that container. And it will run on port 7990. And we'll use this image, Atlassian's Bitbucket image. If you go to this site, hub.docker.com, and you can search for Bitbucket server image, you can get more details how to run it and what all things you can configure. Now we'll go back to our terminal and we'll run this Docker command. If the image is not already there, it will download it. So I will pause this video for some time and then we'll start again once the image is downloaded. Okay, the image is almost downloaded. So it's done and it's starting the container now. Great. 
So we'll check. Yes, container is running now. We can check logs also. So it is going to start now. Let's go to browser and try to access localhost 7990. So you can see it is starting up now. It will take few minutes before it prepares and brings up the main screen. So Bitbucket has started successfully now and it will take you to the setup page. So we'll select English database internal next and I will leave this as is. Application title I will keep it base URL I will leave it like that. Now I will need a license key for evaluation because I'm not buying Bitbucket license just for demo. I think I already have an account So this is my key, copy, next. So we'll just retry the operation. So we'll do a username setup. I will keep the same user here as the for Jenkins we kept. And here we go, we are now logged in. Now we'll create an access token, which will configure in Jenkins so that Jenkins can communicate with Bitbucket. So go to your account on the right side corner, click on manage account. And on the left side menu, select HTTP access tokens, create token, give it a name, let's say Jenkins access and in the permissions select project admin and i'm selecting do not expire but you can select expire if you want to so create now i'll copy this i will go to jenkins now so in jenkins we will go to dashboard then man manage jenkins and then manage plugins under available tag search for bit bucket server integration so you can see bitbucket server integration select this install without restart go back to top page it's right now installing go to manage jenkins configure system if we scroll down we should see an option for Bitbucket server integration here. So we'll add a Bitbucket server instance, give some instance details. Instance name, you can give it as Bitbucket server. Instance URL. Now this is Bitbucket URL, but we cannot give localhost colon 7990. We need to get the IP of Bitbucket container that we can find it out using this command here and we'll give the container id for our bitbucket container similarly we will find container ip for our jenkins container as well now this is what we'll try here http colon slash slash 172 and we need to add personal access token, which we have created here. So we'll copy this. Add Jenkins. Instead of username password, we'll say Bitbucket personal access token. Add. So 
something wrong there. We can try test connection. It's failing because it did not allow to set the personal access token rightly. We will save this. We'll come back here again. We'll go to manage Jenkins. Manage credentials. And this one, we'll try to set it up here. We'll paste the token first. We'll name it bin bucket. Jenkins token. Now we'll test that connection again. So we'll go to configure system. We'll scroll down to Bitbucket server integration and in personal access token. We'll select the one which we just now updated and we'll try the test connection. So Jenkins is able to connect to Bitbucket container now. One more change we'll do here is to change the URL for Jenkins instead of localhost, now we know the IP of the container, so we'll use this IP and then we'll save it. So this way now, Jenkins can communicate with Bitbucket and our both the containers, Jenkins and Bitbucket are up and running. Hope this session helps you to set up your own Jenkins and Bitbucket containers. Thanks for watching and we'll meet in another session. Thanks.